And we have California Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon joining us this morning. Speaker Rendon, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so let's first of all talk about how the coronavirus is affecting business at the Capitol because you guys are in recess right now, but there is work still going on, correct? Absolutely. When the governor talks about uh, us having to carry on with essential work, the work of the legislature is essential. I'm in there in the office every day with a, a small team. We want to make sure that we just have a, a small group of people around. We're being very careful when we're in the Capitol, but work is continuing to happen. What do you see as priority one? Priority one is making sure that we're protecting Californians, the health and the safety of Californians. When we, you hear people talk about social distancing, mm -hmm. when you hear people talk about washing your hands, that's about the safety aspect and making sure that the virus doesn't continue to spread. At the same time, we're also focused on those who, who do have the virus or who get the virus. When you hear us talk about getting respirators, when you hear us talking about medical beds and beds in hospitals, we're focused on those folks as well. So one of the things that Governor Brown was touted for was the surplus he left when he left office. Now this coronavirus, it is straining resources at the federal level, state level, especially when you're talking about the amount of people out of work, the medical devices and supplies that are needed. Do you think that this virus could deplete the surplus here in California? Well, the, that's ex the, the rainy day fund is exactly for okay. examples such of, as this. We have a rainy day fund of about 21 million, in excess of $21 million in this state. We saved it for moments like this. We saved it for moments of, of, moments of crisis, whether it's a health crisis or whether it's a fiscal crisis. We're going to make sure that we spend that money on, on wisely, but that we spend it on health care and make, making sure we buttress the economy as well. So you talked about that your office is still, there's still business happening at the Capitol, but of course, as I said, we are in recess. How is this going to affect the legislative calendar in your opinion? We're not sure yet. Okay. Uh, we're not sure when uh, when we'll have uh, our sort of full complement of members when the governor said he didn't want folks over the age of 65 to leave their homes. That had an impact mm -hmm. on a certain uh, proportion of, of our membership, certain proportion of, of the Senate membership as well. Right now, we've missed about two weeks of work. Uh, thus far, we're eager to get back. We're wanting to get back, uh, but when exactly it's safe to do so, we want to be responsible not only uh, to to uh, California in general, but also to uh, to to our families. Okay, so I want to talk about the federal stimulus bill a little bit and how it affects AB5. Of course, California is a very big gig economy here. AB5 was sort of a contentious issue before you guys went into recess. There have been some calls from some of your Republican colleagues to suspend AB5 right now. Is there any plan to do that? Do you think that's necessary right now since the stimulus package looks like it's going to provide benefits to those workers? Right. I think it's absolutely okay. not the time to, uh, to suspend AB5. I think if anything, this moment highlights how badly people need to have uh, workplace protections. It highlights how badly people need to have health care, for example. This is not the time to suspend AB5. I want to talk about California's response to this because it seems like the governor took quick action in terms of other states across the country to say, hey, social distancing, the stay at home order, kids are not going to be in school right now. Are you hopeful that this is really going to help us bend the curve here? I'm hopeful. At the same time, I know there's I know there's more work to do. The fact that uh, kids are home from school, the fact that a lot of folks are not working is a good thing. Sometimes we see pictures of, of jogging trails. We see pictures of beaches and parks and people are, are sort of gathered too closely together. We want to make sure that people are home and they're safe when they're going out for physical exercise. That's fine, but we know we have to maintain social distancing. We know people, even when they're out on a jogging trail, even when they're at a park, they need to be six feet away. I also want to have you comment on the folks that are out of work right now, the businesses that are closed. This is going to have wide ranging effects on the economy here. What can you say to them to reassure them that California is going to be here to help them out? Well, first of all, Californians will get back to work. I think we need to be focused on the short term right now. We need to be focused on this week and next week and social distancing and making sure we're safe and things like washing your hands mm -hmm. and those types of things to make sure that we get back to work sooner rather than later. The state of California, through its $21 billion rainy day fund that you referenced earlier, we're in good financial shape to be able to provide a lot of uh, a lot of the programs and services that are going to help people but what's most important in order to minimize this the impact of this virus in the long term is to make sure that we take care of each other and ourselves in the short term speaker rendon we thank you so much for your time we know you're extremely busy as business is still happening in your office at the capitol we appreciate you joining us this morning thank you very much appreciate it